Today I'm going to be doing a home workout. Usually I prefer to train outside in the sun, get the benefits of a little bit of sunshine in the morning, a little bit of vitamin D, but unfortunately due to circumstances I must train inside. The city that I live in is experiencing some haze. We have some very very bad pollution. You can see over here it's not recommended to be outside, especially not to exercise outside. Due to this, I need to work out at home. I'm going to do a workout where I do 250 push-ups, 100 chin-ups, and 100 sit-ups. Anybody can do this. You don't need any equipment. You just need to reduce the reps or increase the reps depending on your skill level, your strength level, your endurance level. I'm not going to film all the sets, but I will show you a few what it, so you can see what it looks like. My preference is to do 10 sets of each exercise. It doesn't have to be this way. You can do 5 sets, you can do more than 10 sets, but 10 sets makes the math really easy. It will be 10 sets of 25 push-ups, 10 sets of 10 on my chin-ups, and 10 sets of 10 on sit-ups. This is my home gym setup. It's in the middle of my living room. I'm just doing this to show you guys that you really don't need much to get a good workout. I haven't been to the gym since September of 2022. These are the type of workouts that I've been doing and it works great. The main thing is to train hard, do enough volume and just listen to your body. Your body will tell you if you're training hard enough or not. Um, this is the mat where I'm going to do my push-ups and my sit-ups. For my push-ups, my preferred form is just outside shoulder width apart. I try to go below 90 degree angle in my elbows and then I come up almost to full lockout. I don't see the benefit of locking out. It just puts the emphasis on the tricep and less on the chest. Um, sometimes I'll do it, but most of the time I just like to pump out my reps as fast as I can. It feels good. I get a really big pump. Let's talk about the sit-ups. Traditionally, when people do sit-ups, they'll have somebody holding their feet, or maybe they'll anchor it under a couch, under a sofa, under some weights. I used to do them like that, and it actually irritated my lower back. And I would get a lot more sore in my hip flexors than I did in my abs. So I changed the technique to just do them unsupported. When you do them unsupported, you can't utilize your hip flexors to pull you up. You have to use your core and your abs, and it takes the pressure off the lower back. The way I do them, I put my hands on the side of my head, that way I can't cheat, and I just raise myself using my abs. This exercise is a lot harder than it looks, especially if you have muscle in your upper body. That's how we're gonna do the sit-ups. Now, for the chin-ups, um, sometimes I do pull-ups, sometimes I do chin-ups. Today I wanna focus on chin-ups. I have a door frame pull-up bar right over here. It doesn't cost much, you can pick it up anywhere. And that's what I'll be doing my chin-ups. Same thing here, I'm trying to emphasize the arms. I will not be going into a full dead hang. I'll just do soft elbows at the bottom. To me, that feels the best, both on the arms and the back. I'm gonna get started now. This will be set number one. You'll see what this circuit looks like. Again, push-ups, chin-ups, sit-ups. Let's get started.
The benefit of circuit training is that you get built-in cardio. When you don't rest a lot between opposing muscle groups, your body works very hard to circulate the blood from one part to another. It's very good for your blood circulation, good for your cardio, your heart rate goes up. There are a lot of benefits. I've done four sets already. This is gonna be set five, so halfway there. Let's do it. I've done seven sets so far. This is set number eight. I want to show you guys this set because it's a pivotal set for me. My mind is screaming, stop. You've done enough. This is where the discipline comes in. Doing high volume training, it's very hard mentally. Physically, you can always do more sets, but mentally, your body is just telling you, stop. You've done enough. You build a lot of discipline in this style of training. It's very important to come into the workout with a plan. You have to say, today I'm gonna to do 10 sets of 20 reps, and you cannot stop until it's done. Some people, they go into a workout, they say, I'm gonna train until I'm tired. That's a recipe for failure. You must come into the workout with a plan, and you have to stick to it. You're gonna see I've built a lot of fatigue now, but I'm still gonna get it done, just like I planned.
That's set number eight. That means two more circuits. Set number 10, last set. Three more. There you have it, 10 sets, 250 push-ups, 100 chin-ups, 100 sit-ups. This is literally the most basic workout that you can do and I'm completely ruined. It took me about 35 minutes to complete these 10 sets. I have a massive pump. My entire upper body is pumped. I feel great. Time to take a shower, have breakfast. Enjoy your day guys and peace out.